Hello there everybody and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be trying even more plus size autumn clothes to give you some inspiration for the autumn time. So the reason why I'm doing this is because you all seem to really like my last video. I wanted to do it again and there was quite a few shops that I didn't go to the first time round which I'm definitely going to go to today such as yours clothing. Now the lads from It's Much More, cheers, cheers lads for telling me thanks, um, they told me that yours clothing hasn't actually shut down, it's just moved upstairs. Now I don't really go upstairs in Victoria Centre a lot, I just kind of tend to go towards the back because that's where the Disney store and Yankee Candle is. <laughs> that's where my pot is at y'all. So anyway, through the power of editing, I'm going to blink my eyes on the count of three. When I do that, I shall teleport to Victoria Centre outside of yours clothing and I shall have my makeup done and my hair done and I shall be very well put together. I really wish that this was real. Three, two, one. And here we are at yours clothing. I actually really like this because I think it's really flattering because it goes in in the middle. It's like a crisscross neck here. The arms are quite loose, it's like a kimono kind of style. I'd say that this is more of a tunic than a dress because it's quite short. But uh, this would look really nice with some uh, boots like what I'm wearing and a cardigan or something. I feel really comfortable in this. Um, <laughs> this is a no because the pattern is here and that's where all the attention is. So it makes me look bigger. I don't like these arms either. So this is the next item which is this like bright pink floral dress. I like that it covers the arms. It's long. I like this elastic bit here to enhance my waist. Um, and also I like the material. I really like it when clothing brands use cotton rather than polyester. It just feels so much nicer on the skin. Um, what I would say about this dress though is that it's quite high on my shoulders. And it's a little bit loose everywhere else, but... Oh, it's got pockets as well. Nice. This is the next item, which is this, like, blue polka dot and black dress. I really like the length because it's, like, just below the knee. And I like this band here. It's very booby. Um, <laughs> so I would wear this, like on a night out and then like in the day I'd wear like a top underneath it like a vest top to kind of cover myself up a little bit you know keep my chest nice and warm it'd be really nice with like a blue cardigan or something over the top okay so next up is this like tartan shirt I love the colour however there's no buttons on it it's just like a gap what and also it kind of likes to hang here but this is a no. It's a little packer mark. It's quite cute. Feels really soft. Oh that's nice, it's like a burgundy type knit. There's like a lot of checkers. Hello there everybody, so now I'm back at home and I didn't really have a very successful trying on trip. Um, yours clothing was great, uh, I tried a few items on in there and then I also went to Debenhams on Long Row and I just couldn't find anything at all that I liked or that I wanted to try on, like it wasn't very inspiring. They seem to have a lot of petite clothes in there and I'm not petite. And then I went to Marks and Spencer. I don't usually go in there and have a look round, but I thought, you know, might as well. And nothing really stuck out to me. Like, I just didn't feel very excited in there at all. And they didn't have my size either. Um, the only thing that I did like was this, like, purple uh, coat, which reminded me of Cadbury's Dairy Milk. That's the kind of purple that it was. It was lovely. And also Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. So anyway, I felt like really sad and deflated because I wanted to make this like amazing vlog and then I saw the best thing about M&S which is the food um, hall supermarket and I went down there and I treated myself to some veggie Percy pigs. 
Yes, yes, yes. I ate them on the way home. This is kind of what usually happens to me is that if I can't find anything that I want, I end up buying snacks and then, <laughs> and then I eat them on the way home. And I'm like, ugh, oh, just consuming all of my feelings with food. So yeah, because this vlog didn't go how I planned it, I'm gonna film magic for you because I've been getting quite a few requests and people asking me how magic is. And if you don't know who magic is, she is my dwarf lop rabbit. She's four years old, she's so cute. At the moment, she's going through her molting phase and I'm brushing it every day to try and help her with that. Yeah, I'm gonna go show you my baby, my fur baby. She made me feel better. And they're gorgeous. So I don't know how well my camera picks this up, but you can tell that she's molting because her fur is not all smooth. It's like sticking out and that's where she's molting. So sometimes I just like pull gently. And then lots of fur comes out, doesn't it, baby? Oh, you're molting. I'm gonna give you a little brush and help you. You have to brush uh, bunnies more than usual when they're molting because um, it's not very good for their digestive system, is it, baby? You can't eat it all. Magic! <laughs> Are you gonna finish my vlog? Say goodbye, everyone. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>